Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Keith here from Commando Hoop Celtic. This is your first time tuning into the channel. There's a beautiful subscribe button below. If you could tap a real that, it would be brilliant. Even a thumbs up in the video any time would be appreciated. We're closing on 13,000 subs. Before I get into the Celtic business end of it, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my local subscribers and my regular subscribers for all the lovely comments on my last video. Really appreciate it. These are to motivate me today to have a fantastic day. And I, if I could do the same for you, is drop me an email and I'll help you as much as I can. But let's talk about transfer activity. Udigidi has gone back to Belgium on loan. The team that he had a stint with last season, KV Ostella, he's gone there and it's an option for them to buy. I know they're keen on getting him. Now their manager and director said that they wouldn't rule a move out in the future. So he's gone back there. He only played six games from January up until the end of the season. More games for them than he did for Celtic. He only played one competitive football match and that was against Real Betis, which he had a stormer in. So he's 22. If it's a case that he doesn't get a, a chance at Celtic with the likes of Ralston and Juranovic, he might as well go and play football. There's, there's been a lot of loan activities from Celtic this summer. You know, we see Montgomery going on loan, Barkas going on loan. Potentially, we're looking at Mikey Johnson going on loan as well. I know I've been talking about another few players that have went on loan, but they're more familiar ones. Sorrow as well. You know, Bonangoli's off the, off, the, off the payroll as well. He joins a team in Belgium as well. So, look, at it's, it's promising times. We're going the right direction. I don't know if the situation with young um, Liam Shaw is. Liam Shaw and Nirigidi were teammates as well at Sheffield Wednesday. Is a case that... Shaw will go back on loan to Motherwell or would he stay in the league or would he go on loan down to England? Time will tell. But Mikey Johnston, it looks like Hibs are interested in him now as well. I have been talking about him the last couple of nights that Stan Liège and Ronnie Doyle have expressed interest in the winger. And let's be honest, he needs a bit of game time. People have said in the comments, he's not going to get ahead of Jota. He's not going to get them ahead of Moyeda. And no disrespect, but he's not near that quality. As I said, he's a good. He has been a good prospect when he came through the ranks of Brendan Rodgers and you know injury prone with Neil Lennon. But he needs to go somewhere and develop his career. He's twenty three years of age. It's all point of him sitting at Celtic and getting about eight or nine games a season. It's not worth his while. If he wants to break into Scotland fall in the future, he needs to play consistent football. Regards to Yosuke Idaguchi, it was broken last night. The news that he's going to be injured for the next two to three games. So he's gonna miss the, guaranteed he's gonna miss the Aberdeen game. Now, I don't know what how extent the injury is, but he's, he's, he has, he's gonna be pulled out for the next f couple of games. And you know what, Idaguchi, my heart goes out to him. He obviously got that bad injury against Alawa, that tackle against Alawa in the Scottish Cup back in January. And it just, you know, took him time to bounce back. He got a string of games coming on as a sub. And just hasn't worked out for him yet. And you know, you used to look at the likes of Rio Hatate, which is absolutely flourishing at the moment in the pre season. You know, he needed that rest. You see the likes of Maeda, he's doing well. Koyogo's doing well. And he just feels like he's just, his luck is not with him. So I wish, wish him the very best. And hopefully he does bounce back. And I want to see more potential of Itaguchi. I've seen him play for the Japanese national team and he's been absolutely class for them. Some pingers he scored over. In his Japanese football as well, domestically. So, see what happens there. Regards to Maurizio Jans, it looks like he's out as well for the Aberdeen game. So, that's Starfeld and Jans out. So, will Stephen Welch get his start beside Carter Vickers for Sunday? It looks like that. Time will tell. So, that's really it for me, folks. Just, we haven't been linked to anyone else. You know, it's just been all... Um, I know we've been linked to Tanganga, but from... From Tottenham, but that's not going to happen. You know, there's a lot of teams being snipping around. AC Milan are looking at Tanganga as well. He is a unit, but I just can't see him coming to Celtic. So I'll leave it there. Subscribe to the channel. Speak to us all soon. God bless. Hell, hell.